we're really focused on improving every single day. And so it didn't matter if we were in the sand or on the hard court. That's been our focus. And the great thing is, is that we're, Eric and I are really on the same page with all of that. So he could reiterate all those things we've been working on indoor, outdoor, which is just really simple. Just getting better every day and help each other get better every day. And so that's, that's what we've been doing. Now I'm, I'm really interested to see after, they've been in the sand for about a month now. We haven't done any indoor with them at all. So I'm, I'm really interested to see uh, how they're, they transfer everything back in. Because I, I think they got a lot out of the sand. And now we're going to see. I th honestly, for me, I got to sit back and watch them because I, I could not coach them when they were in the sand. And so it was, it was good for me to be a little bit hands off and for them to hear another voice. Um, it was, was also really good for me to see some of the things that they still need to, to get out of our gym here because I think that there were some things that I learned by just observing them because I haven't got to just sit, on, sit and watch them play a lot, you know. Um, it was more, uh, the sand game is so much more mentally and physically taxing that you could really see, you know, if some, some kids could uh, focus for a longer period of time than others, you know, who, who, who got fired up when it got tight and who had a harder time dealing with that. So I got to sit and watch them in a competitive environment and learn more about them, which I thought was really important. Really coachable. They were just sponges. They were soaking up everything we were teaching them. And so what, what we'd like is we know it's going to take a day or two to get them going again. You know, so we, at least we think. We're going to see how much they remember and let them try to work through that themselves without us giving them too much direction, right? Because that's, that's part of them kind of taking control of their own game. And we really want to give them the opportunity to do that. Uh, everyone's been very receptive. It's been good to make a lot of the same old connections that I had from before. Uh, I, I think our, the athletic department here is, I, I love how hands-on they are. I love how everybody knows what's going on. I, I think people really care about the student athletes uh, from the top down here. And I, it's, it's really cool to see. So the, the way we've decided to run our spring competitions is the first one will be just a single match against UTSA. And you know, in the spring you always have less numbers on, on your team and so it, I think it's important that you don't overtrain them too much while you're trying to get better. And so I, I also want them to be able to uh, go through a game day assimilation with us a little bit. You know, it, it's an 11 a.m. match and we won't necessarily do that, but at least they have an idea of, of us on a game day and how we like to do things. So that's important. Um, and then the, the way we run timeouts, the way we do, you know, we're just going to run it like a normal match. And then from that point on, we have two weekends where we play tournaments. It'll probably be two out of three. I'm, I'm not positive yet. One of them might be three out of five, but it'll be a lot more volleyball during that day. We'll change some lineups around a lot. And then our last match will also be a single five set match, you know, three out of five match. And so I, I'd like to start and end with that to see the progression that we've made from beginning to end of the spring. I think it's a good gauge. You know what, I think we're doing a lot of good things in the off season. We're really trusting the process, and I think that'll really lead into some great things in the spring season. And I think we're just excited to compete again. I mean, sand helped us a lot, but you know, indoor is really kind of our game, so we're excited to get back on the hard court. Sand volleyball helped a lot for indoor. Um, communication is key, and since it's only two players in sand, um, you do a lot of that every single point. Um, it's a lot of trust, and I think it'll really benefit us um, in our indoor game. I love the new coaching staff. I mean, it's a whole new life in the program. Uh, we're changing a lot of things up, and it's all for the better. And you know, we're just really excited to compete with them. Right now, I think we're doing a lot of great things in the off season. Um, we've incorporated a lot of new things, and we're excited to use those in the spring. Uh, me being a senior, I'm just really excited, you know, to play hard for my last season and to uh, represent TCU and have a lot of fun. I think that I'm most excited about getting to learn a new system going into the spring season because with the new coaching staff they brought a faster game, a more aggressive defense, you know, less movement and I'm really excited to learn that because it's a new way of playing. The first sand season really, I think for everyone, helped mostly with being stopped on defense because in sand if you take a step the wrong direction they're going to beat you and in indoor you can kind of more get away with, you read the wrong way, you can kind of push back well. but. Now we really know how to stop, so we can move straight to the ball much faster. So I think you're going to see a lot more digging. We're going to see a lot more digging this spring season because of that. I think it's going wonderfully. Um, they come in every single day positive and excited to get better, and so we come in every single day with that same mindset. So it's really just a lot more fun atmosphere almost, like much more positive, much more getting better every day kind of thing.
I think that as a team, our biggest goal is definitely to learn the new system because we really have to figure out how to play with each other again in the new system because everything's different. Um, but obviously we want to get faster, we want to get stronger, we want to jump higher, but mostly figuring out how to play the new system.